Okay, so in this video what we're going to do is set up a basic character animation with a walk cycle. Uh, there's a few parts to a walk cycle. Um, the two main ones that we're going to concentrate on to the start are the contacts at the end and at the beginning. And then we'll layer in the pass and down and up as we go along. What you want to make sure is when you first have Maya open that you have the time bar set to 25 frames so our walk cycle is going to be inside those frames. Also want to have the channel box editor open, which is this icon, and set this tab to animation if you haven't already. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to grab his right foot here, and we can see it's got some values for his um, leg already in the channel box, and we're just going to grab the blue arrow and move it over until the leg starts to nearly snap in at the joint here. Then we're going to grab the left leg and move that back as we can. That seems okay there. And then once we've done that all we have to do is click and drag down on these three values, right click and then key selected and do that for the other foot as well. So I'm just going to click that, move down, key selected. And what you want to do is you want to drag that timer the whole way up to frame 25 and do the same. So they've already been set so Key selected on the right foot, key selected on the left foot. And it just means that the start and the end are exactly the same. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is move to frame 13. And we're basically going to switch the legs. Okay, so I know that this leg's at minus 2.531. So I'm just going to click that value and copy it. Come over to my right leg put that value in so we can see the legs move back grab these three values key selected and then what we're going to do is grab the value for this right leg just on its first frame so it's 1.882 go to frame 13 again and put it in for its set value there so I'm just entering it in and then pressing enter and then key that in. So if we scrub along that we can see that we've already got some type of motion going which is fine. The next thing we want to do is instead of having him sliding along we're going to have to have him lift his leg up. <coughs> so we can do that easily enough. So we can see his left leg is coming across there. So if we go to frame 7 press W on that and lift his leg up so we can see it's I'll just round it up to one here and then we can key that in so I've just keyed in the Y value and then if we go to 19 and on his right leg key in one Key that selected in. We can press play and see how it's going. So already we've got a pretty accurate walk cycle going for his legs. Next thing that we want to do <coughs> is his arm movement. So at the start, this arm should be going back, it should be coordinated with the opposite leg. So I'm going to just move that arm back. Press up so we can get that bend in the arm just right at the joint. And then I'm going to again key in the translate X, Y, and Z values for that. His left arm should be coming out, corresponding to his right leg. Again, just moving that up so I can get the bend, just a slight bend. And again, key that in. Now, as we know, the beginning and the end are exactly the same, so we can just drag this right up to frame 25, key that in, go to his other arm, and key those values in. So what we have to do then is go to frame 13, which is the halfway point, so everything gets switched around, and we'll just move his arm across. And just need to probably move that up just a slight bit. 
and key that in. And his left arm corresponds with his right leg. We need to move that back. And we key that in. So if we look at the character now in his walk cycle, we can see that he's actually walking pretty well. In the upcoming lessons, I'll show you how to add in weight through his hips and his shoulder action. And we'll also adjust his legs so it gives more realistic motion.